Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about the Lutheran blood group system. So that's gonna be your LUA and LUV. So Lutheran. So these are codominant alleles. They're poorly developed at birth, and um, which can also be termed their weak on cord blood cells. There's 19 antigens in the system. So 19 antigens. Most are high incidence. And y'all know what that means? What'd you say now? High incidence. What does it mean when they say um, an antigen is high incidence? Uh, um, is someone more likely to die or something, or is it more co common? It's going to be more of the population are likely to have it. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay, that's cool. So if the majority of the population um, is positive for these antigens, are the antibodies going to be rare or common? Common. The antibodies, if you have the antigen, um, can oh, you wait, have the antibody no. for it? No. No. So you're going to have your, um, you're not going to see too many antibodies to the Lutheran blood group system um, because they're high incidence, which means the majority of the population are positive. So your Lutheran antibodies are going to be your anti-LUA. Or anti-LUB. And so I'll go over anti-LUA first. So your anti-LUA may occur without red blood cell stimulation. I don't know what made it red. And they can either be IgM or IgG. They usually react at room temperature. And it's also um, often to show a mixed field reaction. And now what is the significance of it, um, room temperature and 
I think the majority of them are IgM. So if it's IgM or room temperature, what does that usually indicate? Are they clinically significant or no? No. So they're not clinically significant. And the next one's gonna be anti-LUB. And it is a high incidence antigen, which makes the antibody rare. So we talked about, you know, the incidence. So um, your LUB antigen is high incidence. So not very many people will make the um, antibody for it. Um, that one specifically is IgG. So not many people will make the antigen? No, not many people will make the antibody if it's a high incidence antigen. So if it's IgG, is that clinically significant or no? Uh, yes. Yes. It's clinically significant. And especially in reference to transfusion reactions. It works best at the AHG phase. And then it too often shows a mixed field reaction.